Chrome 50 adds support for payloads and push messages and adds new features to notifications. You can preload important resources with the link rel preload tag and the canvas element gets an upgrade. Let's dive in and see what's new for developers in Chrome 50. Push notifications allow you to trigger system level notifications in the same way that native applications do. In Chrome 50, you can now include an encrypted data payload with the push, eliminating the need for the service worker to fetch the data needed for the notification. And it's already supported by Firefox using the Web Push API. You can now dismiss notifications across devices when closed by the user on one device, and you have more control over how notifications look and behave. You can set icons on actions, set custom timestamps, and even specify whether the device should vibrate or make a sound. Have you ever wanted to let the browser know about an important font, script, or other resource that will be needed later without delaying the onload event? Chrome now supports the link rel preload tag, a W3C draft spec that allows you to tell the browser which resources should be preemptively downloaded and can reduce the time to get real content on screen. Link rel preload replaces link rel sub resource, which had a number of bugs and drawbacks and wasn't supported by other browsers. The canvas element now supports the two blob method, which means instead of manipulating base64 encoded strings that you get from two data URL, you can now work with the encoded binary data directly. It's smaller and tends to fit more use cases than a data URI. Not only can you more easily upload them to your server or store them in IndexedDB for later use, you can draw the image blobs to another canvas context with a Create Image Bitmap API, supported today in Chrome and Firefox. One other quick note, the geolocation APIs are now only accessible when served from a secure origin. These are just a few of the changes in Chrome 50 for developers. Check the description for more details and be sure to like and subscribe. I'm Pete LePage and as soon as Chrome 51 is released, I'll be right here to tell you what's new in Chrome. <laughs>